Okay, so it turns out there is actually one more photoreceptor of sorts, actually, that's found in your retinas. And this was actually kind of astonishing because it was found about maybe a little over 10 years. I think it was found like in 2001 or 2002. Um, and this is actually, uh, it turns out, not at the very back of your retina. And it was discovered actually because um, it turns out that, you know, people who lack photoreceptors, right, they still have regular sort of uh, circadian rhythms. They sort of cycle normally uh, in terms of sleep-wake cycles. Uh, many people, you know, who are blind because they lack the photoreceptors entirely, uh, still manage to um, respond to light cues um, to actually, um, you know, keep themselves on a normal, you know, uh, uh, day-night sort of rhythm. And what's interesting is, um, like, if you actually take people um, who are normally sighted, but you, you you remove all sort of light cues, actually, you do you, you, or regular light cues, like the sun coming up in the morning and going down at night, etc. cetera. Um, they'll actually cycle on more of a 25 hour cycle as opposed to a 24 hour cycle. So light actually helps us to sort of reset circadian rhythms. I think I uh, have mentioned previously that, um, you know, when light strikes your eyes, actually, uh, you tend to, to stop release of a hormone called melatonin, which is associated with with, you know, um, darker conditions and with sleep. Um, so um, how were these blind individuals actually managing to stay on a 24-hour cycle uh, when they didn't have any photoreceptors? So um, uh, back in, you know, the early 2000s, um, uh, there, it was found that some of the ganglion cells, now remember, light comes in, right, through the cornea, you know, through the pupil, through the lens, you know, through that vitreous humor, hits the photoreceptors in the back then, right? It gets transferred, you know, via the bipolar cell, then up to the ganglion cell, and the ganglion cell sends its axon. Remember, they all coalesce at that, you know, um, uh, at the optic nerve and, and leave, you know, the blind spot and leave the eye, right? Well, some of the ganglion cells, it turns out, actually express photopigments and can respond to light. Uh, and they were given a terrible name. They're called the intrinsically, I mean, it's within themselves, right? Photosensitive uh, ganglion cells. Uh, and they seem to be particularly important uh, in terms of maintaining circadian rhythm. Uh, they actually end up going to uh, an area uh, in the hypothalamus, which is called the suprachiasmatic nucleus. It's above a structure we'll talk about here shortly called the, the optic chiasm. Um, and it's very important for you know, maintaining circadian rhythm. It's linked to release of uh, melatonin, actually, um, from uh, the pineal gland uh, at the back of the brainstem.